Hi, everybody. This is uh, the Almost Daily Devotion for Monday, April the 6th. This is Monday in Holy Week. And the colic for Monday in Holy Week reminds us that uh, before Jesus went up to pain, uh, sorry, before Jesus went up to joy, first he suffered pain. And then in that collect, we pray what might seem to be a strange prayer. We pray that we too um, would also walk the way of the cross. And at first, this may seem masochistic or it may seem um, morose. Uh, but when you realize that um, life itself, just in general, is in fact full of pain, we don't have to pray for it, it, it it's here, um, then we realize that it's not such a strange prayer after all. Um, life, just by default, is to experience pain and suffering. And what we're experiencing right now uh, only reveals what's true all the time. Um, in the Palm Sunday uh, liturgy, we are invited to the contemplation of the mighty acts of our Savior during Holy Week. And I've always thought that the undo or the focused concentration on the physical suffering of Jesus on the cross maybe hasn't been all that helpful, especially as the scripture um, doesn't pay that much attention to the physicality of Jesus' death. Uh, but this passage from Willa Cather's uh, brilliant novel uh, called Death Comes for the Archbishop uh, is, uh, there's a passage in there that I think shed some beautiful light on this contemplation. And uh, the scene is in the very beginning where a Father Latour is uh, a young, newly appointed Archbishop to New Mexico, or Bishop to New Mexico. And this is in the 1800s, and he's, um, he's trying to get to uh, his destination, and he gets lost in the desert, and he nearly dies of thirst. And when he's there, he sees a tree, a juniper tree, that's about 10 feet tall, and it has its arms extended out, and it looks exactly like a cross. And so he dismounts his, his, his horse, and he bows down uh, before the cross, and he says his prayers. And Cather writes, his devotions lasted perhaps half an hour, and when he rose, he looked refreshed. He reminded himself of that cry, wrung from his Savior on the cross, cross, I thirst. The young priest blotted himself out of his own consciousness and meditated upon the anguish, anguish of his Lord. The passion of Jesus became for him the only reality. The need of his own body was but a part of that conception. We are uh, called to walk the way of the cross, but it is um, so comforting to remember that that way has already been walked before us by the one who in his suffering has absorbed all of our suffering and redeemed it. Um, St. Paul says this. Oh, sorry, that's the prayer. St. Paul says this in Romans 6, uh, chapter 6, verse 8. Now if we have died with Christ, we will also live with him. Now, if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. Romans 6, chapter 8. So I'm going to say a prayer, that prayer for Monday in Holy Week. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I will see you tomorrow for Tuesday in Holy Week.